So with dry humates, I, one thing I always think about is, is a long-term approach. So you have a product or a carbon product that's a longer chain that has a lot of carbon, a lot of oxygen, a lot of potassium. One thing I like about our source um, out of Canada, it, it's a cold press. So those, those nutrients were formed by a colder press and I mean, my personal opinion, I think it's a better opportunity to release those nutrients into the soil. So when we're using a dry humate, we can do that through a dry spread bodcast. We can use it through a strip till, really like it there for efficiency purposes. Or, you know, when you're drilling wheat, okay, uh, throw that in with the wheat and do, you know, 50 to 60 pounds. But that dry humate is going to be a slower breakdown process. So water's the catalyst. And if we get our biology cranking, that'll break it down further, but it helps make sure our nutrients stay in place, but also provides carbon and oxygen to our biology, which will then return an ROI.